one is really good Sagittarians. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it sounds about right. I had to say it like four times in my head. Anywho, welcome to your October reading between you and your person. And you already know I'm going to be using the Hocus Pocus Tarot. And look at that. The sun's on the bottom. So we're feeling good. Feeling, uh, feeling lit. Feeling live already. Here we go, my loves. Okay. Page of Potions. This one came out in two other readings. And the Seven of Potions. Okay. So, oop. This is pretty sweet. You could have a few uh, multiple love offers coming in this season. You know, it is cuffing season, as we know. Okay. Um, but you know this. They're like, it's coming. It's cuffing season. Um, yeah. And you just, you have lots to choose from. Interesting. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse, though. Um... Now, you may not be communicating with these <clears throat> suitors, okay? Or maybe they're not communicating with you that they are interested. Um, hmm, this is an interesting little mix-up here, darling. Let's keep going. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Okay, we got Page of Lightning. Uh, so page of suids. So like, you know, cure. <laughs> I love this. I told you my name's not. My name's not something no more. I forget what he said. Oh, if my name's not Ernie no more. It's ice uh, with the magician next to it. That's what's up. Um, the page of lightning. So this is like people. I feel like watching you from afar. Um, even though, honestly, I don't know why, why they're on the page of lightning. It's also like a message, you know what I mean? Uh, you, people could, uh, be trying to message you, uh, but you're too busy being, uh, Winifred Sanderson. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're too busy manifesting. You're too busy, like, you have a lot of fucking power. I feel like these, okay, we have pages here, okay? I don't have a suit for you yet, for the feminine over here, and again, uh, it's it's not the feminine is genderless okay it's just the who you uh you know whatever uh so anywho the magician you have this kind of like all-encompassing power and you got these boneheads you know <laughs> you know what i mean like giving you offers you're like oh my god hold up pretty i mean sagittarius i know a lot of sagittarius women let me just say whoo Forced to be reckoned with. Uh, Hierophant in reverse. Interesting, because we have the book. We have double book right here. The book. Um, hmm. Now, this is like unconventional. This is not traditional. So you could also uh, be just someone who is not... You plain Jane, okay? Which is good. We don't want... We don't like a, a basic Brandy or a basic Bradley or whatever. Um, here we go. Not that there's anything wrong with that, though. You know, let people be people, but don't be boring. Uh, <laughs> two of pumpkins in reverse. Uh, this is two of coins in reverse. Uh, you're not, uh, well, next to the ace of candles. Hmm. So. You're not juggling anymore. Or going back and forth with what you want to move forward with. And you're standing firm in your belief. And it's like these both let ugh, excuse me. These cards both have that inner light, right? Well, one's from the book and one's from the candle. But you know what I mean. Um, and you're kind of letting that shine and like letting your that's a lot of power. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> As I said that, the High Priestess. I, I think this is one of my favorite cards in this deck. The Come Little Children card. I'm not even going to try and sing that. Although I do love singing. Uh, but my cold has been just terrible. Um, but anyways, you have a lot of power. And I think like you have... You're like Sarah Jessica Parker in... Or er, Sarah. Sada. <laughs> Use thy voice, Sada. <laughs> you know, I think I want to name it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, you literally, I feel like, can get any of these. You're a man-eater. You can get anyone you want, 
which is awesome. Uh, as Nikki would say, who's also a Sagittarius, are you benches is my son's, and I'm gonna go and get some bibs for him, is kind of what I feel like the vibe is. So let's do the overall. <laughs> Listen, I think this is one of my, I'm not even kidding. I think this is one of my favorite readings. Hold on. Damn, he's popping all over the place. Sorry for the shake in there. Interesting. The Hermit, Virgo card. You could also be a Virgo. Virgo when you chew it. Also check out the Virgo reading. Um, you could be in Hermit mode though. You you may be getting all these, um, you know, people may be hitting you up, but you're like in Hermit mode and you're like, you're quietly manifesting and um, could, be a, could be a witch, you know? You know how it'd be. Uh, you know, let's see. Advice. The moon. Yeah. Work on your intuition. Work on that brew. Okay. Keep brewing away. Um, work on your manifesting. Work on, you know, not eating kids, because that's not what we want to do. But uh here. Standing in your power. Um, again, this is Queen of Pennies. This is also an earth. Uh, could, you could have earth in your chart. Um, but standing in your power and kind of having the main focus be you, even though you get all these UFs, you're just like, hmm, I'm gonna zoom me. Give up about y'all. All right, yo. Um, well, that was pretty uh, cut and dry. Um, and I hope it resonated. And uh, I love these cards and I love this deck. So, anywho, uh, if it resonated, hit all those buttons for you, girl. And uh, catch you on the flip flop.